What are we doing here? This is the Solutionary Institute. It's a school without walls. Why is it a school without walls? Well, we have an actual building now on the west side of Atlanta, but it's a trade school for the young. And if you're grown and you're certified or skilled in the trade, we could use your help teaching, but you gotta be ready for the west side of Atlanta. So that's a whole nother story. Let's talk about beyond that because you can tune in from your phone as everybody's doing right now. So I figure we need an educational program that is consistent, that is equivalent, if not greater than what people can get at a school out here in the world. So I thought about what do people need most? Um, and you know, people would expect from me, it's like, oh, knowledge itself, absolutely. But knowledge itself looks different for people in different contexts. So what does knowledge itself mean for a young person figuring out their identity in the world? Something about identity in this world, absolutely. And then, you know, as you go out of your knowledge ciphers, which is your 10 through 19, and you into your 20s, that's the wisdom ciphers. That's experience. That's what you're doing. That's, that's what's happening in your life. These are the times to experiment, experience, and explore, and see what the world got for you. And so we want to give people a guide for all those early years, as well as guidance for, like, what to do as you grow. Like, as you grow, go through your 20s, man, I think you should acquire property. Because, you know, you're going to spend money on a car. You're going to spend money on your apartment. At some point, your business, if you as you become an entrepreneur, because you're going to want to become more self-determined with your lifestyle, but as your side hustle become your daily hustle because it make more per hour than your day job, and you transition, you're going to want a location at some point. And I recommend that you end up in a position through having that first property, that home, you have the equity to buy an actual commercial property even if it's just a vacant lot. And all this is the type of stuff that we wanna teach here. We wanna teach you how to take these kind of principles that allow you to work with a smaller budget or no bad credit, no funding, no education or whatever, and still secure yourself what we call a heaven on earth. Because it really is about you as a head of household and what you produce is heaven for your family. That's what matters first and matters most. And then from there you radiate that because then you can do things for your community and your neighborhood. For example, if you start teaching your own children at home just because you have a trade that they can learn and up under you, they're probably going to go through less trauma than they would going through that regular school system. Just think about it. Who going to traumatize them less? You or that system and what's in there? And the people that are sending their kids there because they ain't got nowhere else to consider. You can become a person of choice. Yeah, it's harder. Yeah, you got to figure out how you're going to work, but that's why I recommend you have a side hustle. And if you got children and they're learning technology, now you have a marketing team. You can teach and train them how to do your social media. You can give them assignments, show them the best of content, show them content that you enjoy, pass it on to them to recreate. And now there's an education happening because this is what they're gonna need for the modern world. And so the skills and trades that you can teach at home, maybe they're worthwhile. And so this is how we start building by developing those resources. If you don't have an idea of what you can do, we're gonna teach that here. If, um, you're looking for how to actually engage the neighborhood, we're gonna teach that here. Because you can go from teaching your child to teaching the neighborhood's children. That's happened all around the world. That's actually how schools began. That's the origin of school. So we're going to do the original version of a lot of things. Like the original version of gardening and farming. It wasn't what we see on today, most farms in America today. It was something we call permaculture, where we grow things that relate to each other. Fruit trees growing along with vegetables and. And, and shrubs and herbs that um, allow you to just do amazing things that you can't do otherwise in the systems that we're used to. Same with education, same with health, same with just about anything. So are we accredited? Hell no. No, we don't want accreditation. In a minute, we're going to build our own system and decide whether those schools are accredited for us. That's the kind of system we want to build. The one where we decide who the leaders of the future are going to be because we are them. And we're raising our children with the same tradition. And so when we have intergenerational learning and legacy, man, do you know what you could build? That vacant lot that you acquired, man, your children can build on it. And your grandchildren can continue to build on it. And that's amazing when you consider what a city changes into in 30 years. You could start off in the most beat up corner of a small town. And in 30 years, you become a major player as a family in that city. And this is how we do that. This is how it's been done. So why, why aren't we doing it? Just through lack of education, because that's not what, we, what we're being taught in these accredited schools, because the way they got accreditation is by making sure they didn't teach us that.